felt we should come to be with the people here. And uh, <coughs> we are all here with the Premier, the MECs and the Ministers, uh, particularly the, the National Ministers who are in charge of the disaster uh, management. But this is really the biggest that I've ever seen. Uh, it's absolutely something. <coughs> the, the owners of this house were just telling us the very concrete experience. This is all bad. I don't know what's all cool. I see, 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 keep our mouths open, Bella and Nani, but the day she she don't go. Eh, no Kalela in the le eh hanjel. Eh, ngaba ngaba so ngaba so legale ngako sila pen. Just no kunga, no kuzo Bella. This is all Kala Nani. We are here today as a result of the disaster that has happened in this part of our country. This has been a disaster that attracted the attention of the whole country and indeed <clears throat> the world. We felt we should come as government to join you, firstly to see the damage that has been caused by the fire, but also to be with you today as we bid farewell to Brighton. We feel the pain as we do as South Africans. We thought we should be with you just to comfort you, to say that we are not alone. This time around, the feeling of the entire country is with you. And I believe it is because of his belief and love that made him to be in front, to protect the area to protect others and to sacrifice his own life will always have him in our minds. I'd like to say to Bradley Richards, <clears throat> go well. You played your part in this community where you were. You showed how to be a good human being among the community. Go on. Because of the disaster that has been here, that brought you here, to see for ourselves and see what are the needs, and also, having seen the disaster, I wanted to see you, to say to you a big thank you for the work that we have done and the work that you always do. I think today anyone will accept the fact that you are at a very high standard in terms of fighting the fire. We'd like to thank you very much for being the protectors of our nation, for doing this good job, which is not an easy one, to fight a fire. So I'd like to thank you very much. We thought it would not be enough if we came here, saw everything, but we did not come to say thank you to you. And we will indeed convey our thanks to our colleagues who are now in the bush as well.